Okay. Ready, ready, ready. What's up? Um, I have talked to so many people that have sent their cameras off to get the sensor cleaned. And, uh, yeah, you know, Nikon factory cleaning. And uh, you really want to pay shipping and return shipping and then some other schmuck, 50 to 100 bucks. Typically, that's what it is to uh, clean your sensor. All, so many people say they're afraid of cleaning their sensor. Well, here's the fact. The sensor is nowhere near as fragile as you think it is. Um, I've got sensors all over the place. I've taken apart so many dead cameras and live ones, and then I keep the parts from some of the dead ones and some of the parts, especially the pen and prisms, which are really, really sexy. This is a sensor. Now, what I don't have on here is the infrared pass filter and the other filter. And you are never touching your sensor, never at any point in time. Um, you shouldn't be that afraid of it, okay? Now, you don't need a large bottle of Eclipse stuff like this. It's called the Photographic Solutions. They actually have a different box. And here's what it looks like. You can go on eBay. Cheapest you're going to find on these. The cheap, 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 cheapest is, uh, this is a 12-pack. You'll find a 12-pack for 40 bucks, basically. Some, some, once in a while, someone will have a 12-pack for 38 bucks. You know, whatever. Who gives a damn? And uh, they'll have a uh, bottle of clean. This is enough to last. If you got like a dozen cameras and you're like shooting 12 hours a day, this bottle will last you a lifetime. Lifetime. So you never have to worry about that. Even these little bottles like this, they'll last forever. I mean, you think that's too small? I mean, you should have this if you're traveling. I mean, it's easy, especially a lot. Of, <laughs> I'm going to say something. You think I'm, I'm fat and I look like a pig? Well, you people are pigs when it comes to taking care of your cameras. I have never bought a used camera, had my hands on a used camera that some slob even if they were perfectly well maintained physically it's like they're perfectly shaved like Enrico Suave every day they have got dust and crap floating on the back of their lens caps I mean it blows my mind what you people do you like never clean the back the rear caps on your lenses and then you take those off and the dust migrates to the back of the lens you put it on there you know the camera gets shaked and every time the shutter clicks it's dropping dust and it's like oh god why is my sensor dirty because your lenses and your caps are always dirty, like your body caps are always dirty. <sighs> but I mean, they get dirty regardless. But they get a lot dirty a lot quicker because you people are just. I mean, I hate to say it, y'all are, y'all are, every one of you is a damn slob. You're all damn slobs. I mean, I'm not attacking you, but I mean, I've never once seen anybody's camera picked up a used one. It just, it wasn't a. It's just, it's just a stinking mess. It's like, damn, what? what you people wonder how you get all those crud bunnies inside of your camera? I mean, and it was not like it's a film camera. You've only got basically one piece of film in your camera. It's not a film. It's a sensor, obviously. And anything that falls on it is there. And uh, you know what? That ultrasonic cleaning on your camera, uh, that doesn't really do shit. It, it just doesn't. Uh, it doesn't. What do you think it's going to drop to anyway? You know, you think there's like a flushing system or a... Uh, Plumbing system on your camera? No, there's not. Um, anyway, getting to the point, like these are 24 millimeter sensors, and these are 17 millimeter sensors on the right here. This is uh, for little DX sensors, and this is for FX. They're still another size, but that's just twaddle. Each one of these is basically three bucks a pop. I showed you in a prior video how you can save money by uh, using a, a drop of this or two on a Q tip and then cleaning your sensor. And what that will do is uh, it'll actually remove the crud off the sensor, but it'll leave streaks. But a Q-tip is nothing, and these are three bucks. So once you've actually removed all the crud, then you whip out one of these and er, er, clean your sensor off. And it's not difficult at all, and it's not something you need to be afraid of. And if you're out traveling and, uh, you know, God forbid some sort of oil spot or something nasty gets on your sensor, what are you going to do? You know, you know how lightweight this is to, to take on you? I'd take three paddles with me, actually. Cleaning paddles like this. These are one-time use only, by the way. You know, I'd always have this as a traveling kit. People think, well, I'm going to take a blower. People will think of all the gear they need to take with them on a trip. Well, you need to have a uh, cleaning kit to go with you on traveling. But first, you need to learn how to clean your sensor. I made several videos on how to do it, but you're not actually touching the sensor. 
you're just not. So you really shouldn't be that afraid of it. And you're like, oh my god, you know, I've got some drops of wet stuff on this, and then I'm sticking it inside my camera, so I've got something. This stuff dries insanely fast. Okay? You know, you're not, it's not like, you know, this is a mop. When you stick it in there, you're squishing out water everywhere, I mean, or liquid. That's not the case. This stuff dries really fast. By the way, if you put this on here, and you wait too long for sticking it in there, then it will dry on there, then it will leave, uh, like, smudge marks, because you let it dry too fast, uh, dry before sticking it in there to clean your sensor. But everybody should buy a 12-pack of one of these. Make sure you get, see, this is size 2 for DX sensors, like the Fuji X-T1 here and like a Nikon D7100. Um, there are three different sizes. Go to Photographic Solutions and uh, look for your camera on their website, and it will tell you what size uh, paddle, uh, cleaning paddle you need. And get a 12-pack of these. And if you go on eBay, that's the cheapest place you can get them. What you'll do is for 38 bucks, if you buy a 12 pack of these, they'll throw in this crap. And once you buy a bottle of this, you'll never, never, because you're only using one, two drops at a time. Okay, and then you're cleaning your sensor, you know, every few months. If you're cleaning it more often than that, and you're a, and you're a dirty, you're a dirty pig. You're a dirty girl. <laughs> you're a dirty girl. Uh, so, don't pay Nikon 50 to $100 and ship your camera off to some doofus. You know, watch my video on how to clean your sensor and do it yourself. Because when you start doing everything yourself, then, you know, you gain confidence and, you know, you know how to do things. And, uh, you know, you're not relying on everybody else to do stuff for you. You should, anybody that has a DSLR and you're shooting moderately, you should know how to clean your sensor. You know, it's ridiculous to think of paying someone 50 bucks. Spend 40 bucks on this and this will give you, for most people this will last... You run out of swabs, of course, you'll never run out of this. But this will last most people three, four years if you shoot moderately and you keep your, your lens caps and your body caps clean so you're not letting crud bunnies uh, slip in onto your sensor. So, suggest that you do that is a very wise solution. So, take 40 bucks out of your PayPal account and go onto eBay and buy some photographic solutions, sensor swabs, a 12 pack, a dozen, like a dozen eggs, and it'll come with this. Make sure you get the right size, either 24 millimeter or 17. There's one other goofy size. I forget what it is, but look on their website for what size you need. So, thanks a bunch. Save you money. Okay, save you money. Bye.